welcome back students in this particular video we will talk about realization of full subtractor with nand gates so as far as the equation of difference is concerned it is a x or b x or c and uh, if you will recall the previous videos you will see that the derivation is already being done in our previous videos now our focus would be directly on the borrow equation for full subtractor the borrow equation was calculated as a bar b plus a xor b with complement dot c now we will shuffle this little bit so we can also write it as like this a bar b plus a xor b complement dot c and i will use double complement like if we will double complement this it should not change our equation because a double bar is like a only after this what we will do we will break the internal bar and we will use de morgan it's like this let me show it here x plus y whole bar is nothing but x bar dot y bar so that is what we will do here with respect to the internal one so we can write it as a bar into b bar then dot will be a xor b bar dot c and then there is a bar here and the overall bar so it is like this now what we will do we will write it again as b dot a bar plus b bar dot c into c bar plus a xor b bar now all the bars we will also uh, place here all right let us understand what have we done in this last step actually what we have done here if you will see if you will multiply here the two terms the two terms we will get is b into a bar and the next term will be b into b bar but b into b bar is equal to 0 so this term is not there it will be it will be simply b into a bar which is same as the original one similarly if you will realize what is happening in the second term the first dot product is c into c bar which is again zero so it should not affect our equation and the next term will be c into a xor b bar which is same as what is available here so the point is we are uh, you know changing our equation in a form which is actually same as what is available in our previous step and we are simply adding the extra term so that uh, it will correlate to our uh, nand realization so finally we are having both the equations like we got the equation for borrow and uh, the sum sorry the difference is already here equation now we will go directly to the logic diagram so to save time we have directly implemented it over here the diagram is already being uh, completed but let us understand how we have implemented the two equations just for your reference the equations of difference and the borrow has been written here this is the equation we got in our previous slide so let us check first of all how is difference implemented which is a x or b x or c and a x or b uh, is something we have referred as x ultimately and we have done this in our previous video also regarding half subtractor we implemented a x or b using those four gates nand gates so that is what is being happened starting from the left hand side we are having two inputs it is a nand gate so it is a dot b whole bar this is given as one of the inputs to gate number 2 and 3 let us name the gates first 1 2 3 then 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 so gate number 2 and 3 is having one of the inputs as a dot b whole bar then uh, we are having a here we are having b in the gate number 3 again we are implementing the nand gate implementation so the outputs of gate 2 and gate 3 is given to the gate number 4 and in gate number 4 ultimate output we are getting is actually a x or b a x or b now we have to do a x or b x or c so what are we doing we are copy pasting uh, this gate 1 2 3 4 again over here 
So, it is AXOR B then AXOR B XOR C will be implemented over here. So, it is very simple and you can see that we need total 8 NAND gates to realize the difference. So, this equation if you will realize now has been implemented because difference that we are getting here is nothing but the dot product of uh, output of gate 6 and gate 7 with a bar. So, this is gate 6 output, this is gate 7 output and there is a bar also at, at the last. So, we are done with the difference. Now, what about the borrow? Borrow equation you can see again there are two terms, one of the terms you can see here is B dot A B bar and whole bar and if you will realize this term let us call it as T 1 is already available here. So, we have given this as one of the inputs over here you can see and similarly the next input is C dot X C whole bar which is also available here let this be our T 2. So, what are we implementing in the borrow is actually T 1 dot T 2 with whole bar and to do this whole bar what we need to do we need one more uh, uh, we, we need one more NAND gate. So, that NAND gate is here that is gate number 9. So, in this way we have finished the implementation of full subtractor with 9 gates and again the question is how many number of NAND gates are required for the implementation and the answer is minimum NAND gates required for the implementation of full subtractor would be 9. So, that is it for today's video. In case you are having uh, some doubts regarding the topics of uh, NAND and NOR realization, you can ask in the comment section. So, whenever I will get time, I will uh, try to answer your queries. So, we will be back with our next video uh, very soon. Till then, God bless you all and have a nice day.